The third international symposium on the empowerment of Afghan women and their role in Afghan society was held in Kabul in May 2016. To honor and welcome the participant to the symposium, the Afghan Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a splendid reception and banquet in the ministry's gardens. At this reception, First Lady Rula Bibi Gulghani, Chief Executive Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, Ministers, Members of Parliament, Representative of International Organizations, Ambassadors and Diplomats, and several famous national and cultural figures were present. After Mr. Andi Shah, Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs, welcomed the participants, Dr. Abdullah addressed the audience. خوشحال هستم که شاهدی برگزاری سمپوزیم کابل هستیم امروز و منظور تشخیص اولویت ها در توانمندسازی زنان و به منظور بررسی چالش ها و فرصت هایی که در پیش رو داریم و اقداماتی که در این راستا باید صورت بگیره یک دعوت مقدماتی به ارتباطی سمپوزیم هست و فردا انشاءالله سمپوزیم Several well-known national and international figures then spoke of the necessity and importance of the Kabul Symposium and emphasized its influence on the empowerment of women and their increasing role in all aspects of life. The reception also included a screening of the film Afghan Women Yesterday and Today, as well as traditional Afghan music. It was a memorable evening and a good omen of a bright future for Afghan women. The first symposium on Afghan women took place in Washington, D.C. in November 2013. It was followed in November 2014 by a symposium on the rights of Afghan women and their empowerment in Oslo, Norway. The Oslo Symposium built on the resolutions of the Washington Symposium to secure the rights of Afghan women and empower and strengthen them. Three hundred women from all 34 provinces in Afghanistan took part in the Kabul Symposium, in addition to representatives of civil society organizations and members of the media. The opening ceremony took place in the Salam Khana Palace with the recitation of the Holy Quran followed by the Afghan National Anthem. Muhammad Ashraf Ghani, President of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, gave a commanding and meaningful speech that set the tone for the gathering. Emruz yagruz khas ast. Sadai zan Afghan اراده زن افغان و سهم زن افغان و تمام ملت افغان و دنیا آشکار میشه زن افغان امروز از خود نمایندگی میکنه ضرورت به نمایندگی از طرف مرد نداره هر کدام زن افغان امروز وزیر است سفیر است قاضی است پلیس است افسر است زن افغان در تمام بخشای اداره اقتصاد و جامعه پهلو در پهلو با مرد افغان و زیادتر از مرد افغان سهیم است بنابری از صدای واضح و رسای زن افغان ما امروز استقبال میکنم Other speakers included the Afghan Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Norwegian Minister of Foreign Affairs, the American Special Representative for Afghanistan and Pakistan, the NATO Special Representative, the Afghan Minister for Women's Affairs, a special guest and keynote speaker from Malaysia, and a representative of the women from the province of Paktika.
Following the opening ceremony, the participants started the deliberations. They were welcomed by the First Lady Rula Bibi Ghul Ghani. در تیبت گرفتن، اومدگی گرفتن، تصمیم گرفتن که چطور میشه و چی را کم موضوعات بحث میکنیم و چطور ای را ختم میکنیم شما باید بسیار افتخار داشته باشید که در نمی روز شما امینجا سهم میگیریم Then the vice president and law scholar Sarwar Danesh opened the working sessions of the symposium دستاورده های 15 سال گذشته ما در زمینه های آزادی بیان، دموکراسی، انتخابات، حقوق بشر و مخصوصا حقوق و جایگاه زن به هیچ صورت و حتی به قیمت صلح هم قابل معامله نیست. The working session started first with a panel on women in Islam. Followed by panels on women in the justice system. women in politics, it's women in the media, Women in Economic Empowerment Women's Access to Health Women and Education Women and Peace and Security and women and art and culture. Each discussion was introduced by an influential authority on the topic, then a moderator took over the panel deliberations. Each panel lasted over an hour, during which exchange of divergent views and opinions and audience participation took place. At the beginning of each panel, the participants were shown a, a short screen presentation summing up the information on the topic to be discussed. 
In addition, supporting videotape messages from well-known personalities unable to attend the symposium were also screened. Based on all the discussions, opinions, suggestions, and participants' requests and demands, a text was put together gathering all the recommendations in a draft resolution of the symposium. The participant listened to the reading of the draft resolution and declared their assent so that it can be presented on their behalf at the Warsaw and Brussels conferences. President Ghani had earlier expressed his own commitment and that of his government to the future of Afghan women. ام تعهد دولت و هم حکومت وحدت ملی بر تامین همه جانبه نقش فعال زن افغان در تمام امور است. Thus concluded the symposium in an atmosphere of unified commitment and goal-oriented pledges from all participants towards creating a powerful society in which Afghan women can play a positive, constructive and a meaningful role.